Hi folks and welcome to another edition of Coach's Corner. Actually we have two football players with us this afternoon with uh, Williton Greer and Byron Jones. And uh, Byron, you were named uh, Freshman of the Year by the American Southwest Conference and uh, Williton, you were named the first team all-conference choice. Byron, we'll start with you. Um, first year of collegiate football, uh, getting conference or Freshman of the Year award. Uh, two questions, what brought you to Saul Ross and what does this award mean to you as you head into your sophomore season? Uh, <clears throat> my, my parents actually went to Sol Ross, and so it's just an easy opportunity to start to play football and play sports. So they told me why not just come out here and play. And then second, uh, it's a it's a good accomplishment, but uh, the next one is all merit. There you go. There you go. Well, what brought you to Sol Ross, and uh, what does your postseason uh, award mean to you? Uh, what brought me to Sol Ross was after high school, I didn't really get an opportunity. So, so Ross welcome you being friends and family. Absolutely. Another question for both of y'all. Uh, you came to Saul Ross, both of you, I believe, as true freshmen right out of high school. What was the biggest adjustment that both of you had to make in terms of transitioning from the high school game to the college game? Will, we'll start with you. The biggest adjustment I had to make was the speed. The used to speed was faster than the heart and the big hits. <laughs> Byron? Uh, the speed and uh, the offense. The, uh, it was just a bigger, more play calling and stuff like that. It had to get used to that. When you head into the off season, what are some personal goals that both of you would like to set individually and some team goals as you head into 2016? Yeah, right. um, try to at least get 2,000 receiving yards. That's my individual goal. And as a team goal, at least be 9-1. Byron? Or well, I'm sorry. <laughs> my individual goal is to work on my mistakes I have this season, and hopefully be more consistent next year. And the team goal is to win more games and be have a stronger bond. Okay. Uh, we had a heck of a travel season this year, going all the way out to Mississippi, Pineville, Louisiana. I believe next year it's going to be a little bit different. Uh, we'll have I think five away, five at home, but. When you go to the college game, uh, is it is it quite a change? I mean, obviously the radius of travel increases, but uh, did y'all notice that? Was it uh, did it have any effect on how you guys played, or or what, did it take some getting used to? And we'll start with you on that. Um, my teammates made the trip easier. Like spending time with them, they really made me think about how long the trip was. Okay. Um, there's a good. Look. Uh, adjustment for us because uh, we had like four straight away games so but it, it was still good good trips I think. My next question and Byron will start with you on this is when you go to a completely new environment you're right out of high school uh, and then you're meeting a bunch of people that you've never met in your life how was it to try to make that adjustment uh, you know we talked about your playing level but also just socially trying to, to, to develop team, uh, team chemistry as a freshman coming into a completely new situation? Uh, it's, it's nervous at first, but having teammates and good guys like on your team, they help you come in and we all become like a family. Like each, like, you have your own, like your receivers, your running backs and stuff, but then all in all, as an offense, we're all a big family. So it, it's an easy adjustment when you have good people on your team like that. Well, um, I was nervous a little bit when I first came to camp. And they made me feel welcome. They made me feel like a family. Uh, when I made mistakes, they would reach out to me. Okay. How long did it take for you guys to kind of finally settle in? And like you mentioned that you had family that came out here, Byron. Will, what was it like for you? How long did it take to kind of finally take a deep breath and, and, and just kind of let the, uh, the silt settle a little bit? Uh, how long did it take for you to really get, get on the ground and, and uh, begin things? It took me. To the UMA weekend, I, I don't remember the week. But <laughs> it took me about like three to four weeks to like really get things going. What about for you, Byron? Uh, it was it was kind of easy to get here because I've been coming out here as a kid, so I was already used to the environment, the small town and stuff like that. Which kind of segues into my next question: Coming, you know, both of you guys come from from larger communities than Alpine. What was it like to come? all the way out to West Texas, and like we don't even have 
we have a couple of traffic lights and that's about it, but you don't have to fight traffic or anything like that. Well, what, what, how about for you? Uh, I mean, it's really not, not a big difference because back home I'll always stay home mm -hmm. and coming here, no transition really. So. Uh, I like it a lot better. You don't have to worry about traffic. You know, and it's just a smaller community. You get to know everybody a lot better. Let's switch to uh, the academic side. Uh, what are you guys majoring in and what are your uh, plans after college, Will? I'm majoring in CJ and I want to be a probation officer. Okay. Uh, kinesiology, either be a coach or a personal trainer. Okay, and uh, another question for you on that is what motivated you to want to become a coach? Uh, my brother's actually a coach. He coaches out in uh, New Mexico, Las Cruces. Okay. So he got me into that. And Will, what uh, motivated you to become a uh, uh, to want to become involved in law enforcement? Because growing up is a little rough. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to help all those kids get out of trouble, let them know they, they can like, do something better with their life. Absolutely. Well, guys, I guess my final question to both of you is uh, next season, um, you know, we talked a little bit about some things that you want to focus on during the off season, but uh, three things that you would like to accomplish next year. We'll start with you, Will. Playoffs. Uh, winning more games and getting more like stronger and bond with my teammates. Okay. Fire. Uh, connect with the team more, conference, and hopefully get playoffs. All right. Sounds good. Those are all worthy goals. Gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us. And we thank you for uh, joining us uh, during this segment of the Coach's Corner. We'll have Coach Pierce on here in just a moment. Thank you, gentlemen. You all did well. Thank you. <laughs>